Hi, hello. So we're Nova Contemporary. We're based in Bangkok and we're here in Discovery section. It's our first time and we're representing Mozart, a Burmese artist who lives and works in Yangon. Um, so this is the first time and it's a solo booth all by Mozart. So the walk are about like uh, look back to the country history and also play with the history and also the current situation. Yeah, like behind me the, the, the sculpture dope with the revolution hand. Uh, like dedicated to the 1988 uprising, yeah. So during the like uh, the revolution time, there was like some underground newspaper published. So I found it one uh, photo from the underground newspaper. So I like the the with like it is like a dope with the revolution hand. So it's like really refer to the like um, uh, freedom for fight, yeah. So. That is why I was transformed to that uh, newspaper clip to the 3D and uh, 3D sculpture, and also, and I there has has a extra wind with the fish, so I put in the extra wind in the fish in the cave. Yeah, so it's like you know at the time also most of the freedom fighter got arrested and the government put it in the jail. Yeah, so that's what like last last year 2018 was the 30 year anniversary of the 88 arresting. Yeah. So because our country was long history with the 1962 to 2008 was like ruling by military. Yes. So actually um, I would say the whole theme of this um, this booth, we're trying to say that um, it's um, going back to the time when Mozart was a kid and how he grew up in the environment under, you know, unstable environment. And the dope is actually um, the sign of um, a very important newspaper in the 1980 called the Call, and that's the logo of 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 the of the newspaper. So what he's trying to say also that how the media is so important in the world, and it actually can, can control what you what limits what limits you what to believe in. So as you can see inside the cage, there's a fist inside the cage that really represent the people who have no idea what actually going outside and around the cage and the feather around it, it usually represents um, the dove, some fragment of the dove which is some of the people that are not in the cage but they are trying to escape out. Um, and on the right of me is called Tin Ponche, it's a chalkboard. The chalkboard actually what Mo was learning at school, you were learning to write on chalkboard, there was no paper or pencil. So he wants to go back and erase that history, what he's been taught when he was young. And that piece of work, it's basically very important for him because he wants to go back and rewrite the history of what he has learned. And um, the video also really reflects on all the three pie um, two pieces together. The video is actually Mo performing. If you don't know, Mo is a performance artist. So he started off from performance art. But um, in this video, he is performing as a general. It's called General Tiger and Gun. So General is um, wearing a general uniform, holding a gun and wearing a tiger mask. Actually, um, it is because um, when you're young, when you're playing the game, um, in Burma, rock, paper, scissor, you actually, it doesn't call rock, paper, scissor. It's called General Tiger and Gun. So at a young age, when you're playing that game, you're really not aware that it's really a violent thing that you've been putting up in your brain and you know, you're know you not aware of it, right? So we wanted to have him wearing that, like going back into times and walking in a place where it is very important for Burma history because it's the, where it was the first constitution. Yeah, and then you write in the new constitution. Right, the constitution. And it was only been used once in the 1980s. So what is really democracy? What is democracy now? If it was only used once. Um, and him playing that in the playground, does it mean that the constitutional, what does it leave behind? What is the idea behind it? By wearing that and um, leave the audience to think what he's trying to say because you know we shouldn't really be too direct of what we're trying to say is that there's a room for everyone to really think of what they're trying to think.